Okay, so now I thought we would draw the Earth from this point of view. We're going to go draw Australia and Indonesia and up there. All right, so let's take out the compass and draw the Earth. All right, so on this one, we'll start with Australia. And I'm going to suggest we start about there, okay? And sometimes I think of Australia as like a, like that's the bottom chin of the dog's head. And then you can just kind of come up, maybe make a little bump. And it's kind of bumpy right there. You can do another, like, more gradual bump. And then maybe a, just a short little ear coming up and down. And right up at, above this point here, there's some islands. So we're going to draw a little island there. There's a bunch of little islands here, so we'll draw another one right next to it. And then some little tiny ones. We don't see New Zealand. New Zealand's down below over there. So let's color that in with our green, forest green. We can just outline Australia. And color in the islands. Okay. So then we're going to go from right where some of those bumps were, right about there. Let's make a dot. And we're just going to make these little a little string of islands. like that. And then we're going to draw a bigger one. It's just going to kind of have a bump. Come in and go like that. It's just kind of a long um, shape like that. A little bumpy on either side, kind of widens out. And we'll just color that in. That right there is uh, Indonesia. So right above Indonesia, you're going to have a, something that comes down like that. And then it's going to get it's sort of rounded like that and comes down and then goes like that. That's India. That's one side of India. And then we're just going to come down and go like that. All right? And so... I think we're going to go up here because we're going to head up this way, you know, Vietnam and China and things like that. So we're going to go, let's see where I are, we're like that. Okay, we're going to come out and then make some bumps, something like that, a little bit. Go out and bumps, a few bumps. And then you're going to go in a little bit. And then maybe come down a little bit. And then we're going to go just make a nice kind of bumpy rounded shape like that. And then it's 
going to come back a little bit that way and just be kind of bumpy going up. Okay, so what are we going to put in here? We're going to put in, so we've got those islands. So then we're going to put in, a, it's almost like a bumpy sort of a triangle. So it's kind of a bumpy triangle. And put an island there, and then we're going to have some, a couple of bigger islands right here. Which is the Philippines. And you can just throw some little tiny islands like that around there. So let's color in. This is a com country called Borneo right there. And then there's the Philippines. And then we'll just color in that. And then we can outline the top of this country right there, top of it, we're going into China, up there, and then as you come down you'll get to Mongolia and Vietnam and Cambodia. And there's India over there. So here we have this big mass of green there. So it's kind of interesting. All right, so let's take the sky blue color and we can color in our ocean. You probably could guess that this is the Indian Ocean over here. Let's leave a, let's draw a circle right there, and we'll leave that white. Try to give the earth a little dimension here. What I did was I, I took a globe and I photographed it, you know, from different points of view. And then to be accurate, I sort of, I actually traced the photographs in the book of the Earth because I didn't want to, but we're just kind of winging it here. I'm just trying to just give you some basic understanding. Just another way. Now I picked up periwinkle. And I'm going to go make this side of the globe a little darker. Like that. take that green to make that a little darker over there. We'll put it, everybody in India here on in this picture is going to go be going to sleep. That's kind of where the shadow of the earth is going to be. So I'll take my periwinkle and make that a little darker. Okay, so we'll just make some uh, dark purple over here with periwinkle. 
And then maybe add some blue, plain blue, which is a nice dark kind of a blue to add some, dimen some dimension to the earth here. I push down hard on the edges and then I get softer and softer as I go towards the middle. And then I'm going to put a little sea green coming into the water right there. And then go over the earth, the uh, like go over Australia and maybe the Cambodia and China. Mongolia, Afghanistan, Pakistan. That's kind of some of those countries over there. And then maybe back to sky blue. Make this side go around that little white dot, maybe. Make it stand out a little. And then I thought I would just like kind of go over the, make it a little bit darker, the outline. Just a little bit here and there. Maybe outline the earth. my pencil and give this side of the earth a little bit of gray. Okay. So hopefully you're getting the hang of uh, how we do this. Um, I will let's label a few things here. Uh, this ocean right here is the Indian Ocean. I N D I A N O C E A N. So that's the Indian Ocean. Over here we have the North Pacific. N O period P A C I F I C the North Pacific. Um, this set of islands right here are the Philippines. So we can write that P H I L I two P's P P I N E S. That's the Philippines. And this right there, those islands going up that way are Indonesia. I N D O N E S I A. Indonesia. And just because it's a, it's really, I don't know, it helps me really find out where things are. We're going to just label that as India down there. It just helps me kind of locate things. I-N-D-I-A. So India is there. And we can put China as there. C-H-I-N-A. China is up in that area. So here we have China up in that area. And here's Australia. A-U-S-T-R-A. L I A. So we've got the oceans. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed 
that's part of the world.